Well, finally, the day has come. A lot of you guys out there have been wanting a robot mower that's got an actual cutting <laughs> rotary blade on it. And today's the day. Let's go check it out. Hey, like that for an unboxing. Well, this is the Limo One. As far as price goes, the project is about to launch on Kickstarter and there will be special deals available. Click the link in the description of the video to learn more and follow along. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the AI robotic lawnmower technology, what it does is it goes out on its own, mows the lawn in traditional lawn mowing patterns so you don't have to. And when it gets low on charge, it'll take itself back to the charger, recharge, and then resume its regular mowing pattern. So let me tell you what really excites me about this product. To my knowledge, this is the very first rotary style robotic lawnmower on the market. You'll notice by rotary, what I mean is it has a true rotary cutting style blade, very similar to what you're going to find on a traditional lawnmower. These rotary style uh, blades are actually mulching blades, which is awesome because the biggest complaint that I've seen online is that these uh, robotic lawnmowers have the uh, razor blade rotary style blades on them and you can only cut an eighth of an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch if you're lucky, to get it to mulch properly back into the ground, which means that you have to mow at least five to seven days a week. With this style rotary blade, you can mow one to three days a week, no problem. It's going to mulch everything, but I'm gonna show you how this works, not only on my lawn, but on other lawns with longer grass, so you can kind of really get a good look at what you're buying. Now, here's where I geek out a lot. This thing will mow 1.75 acres per day. Per hour, we're looking at 10,000 square feet. Now, I absolutely love these wire-free style mowers, but they do require an installation sequence. So the tracking and locating with the Limo One is RTK, which means it has an antenna that communicates with satellites in the sky. It tracks and locates where the lawnmower is on the ground. We just have to find a nice, clear, open place with power to put the antenna. I highly recommend that these go on the roof line of the house. But for demonstration, I'm just gonna put it here, but you simply plug it into the wall. And then our next step is fairly simple. We're just gonna find a nice clean area for the base station. Logically sound, don't let it stop you from buying a mower like the Limo One. It's going to walk you through the process, which is really, really simple. You're simply gonna download the software and you're going to literally walk behind the mower and remote control it and show the mower exactly where you want to mow it in the boundary. Now we call these areas zones. So you're gonna be the one establishing these zones. Now, after you do that, if you have some questionable areas uh, like around a trampoline or you've got areas that really dip down or you want to avoid, you're just gonna repeat that process, but you're gonna establish those as no-go zones. Installation's done, and here's the exciting part. It goes right into the next step of where I'm going to change my cutting height, how fast the robot actually goes in this thing, probably the fastest robot I've used for an install, um, and also uh, the cut speed. The faster the cut, the faster the battery goes down, but it can also give you a cleaner cut. Five cut speed options as of now. Why don't we just start off with cut speed of three? I go for cut quality, so I'm going to take my move speed all the way down to uh, 0.3. One thing I geek over is I can control the cut angle. I want my stripes to go into diamonds, baby. So hit confirm, start the mow. Now the Limo One is loaded with options, but let's start off with what they're promising us about their production model. The Limo One was first off, it was built for most grass types. That dual rotary blade system extends 16 inches wide and it's got a high performance floating deck. Simply put, what that means is as the terrain changes, the deck stays the same, gives you a nice even cut. Height of cuts range between 1.2 inches on up to four inches high, and it's all controllable through the application. And the Limo One is also powered by a 560 watt hour life PO4 battery, and it covers up to 25,000 square feet of mowing area on a 90 minute charge, which means as I stated before, this mower can mow one and three quarter acres per day, or about 10,000 square feet per hour. This lawnmower is multi-zone capable and adaptable to multiple terrains. If you look at the design, it was designed with robust track treads. 
The lawnmower conquer slopes up to 45 degrees and uneven slopes, which I'm very excited to test out. Now, safety features include their smart obstacle avoidance, which utilizes the Lysi Multi-Fusion technology to intelligently analyze the surroundings, identify obstacles, and navigate around them with ease, complete with a stop button and also a rain gauge. So right now, I'm taking a little time lapse of the mower. The one thing I want you to focus on is we've got the speed completely cranked up, but look at how straight of a line it's actually mowing. It's doing a fantastic job. I would say out of all the mowers I've ever ran, this one out of the gates has ran the straightest path and also the quickest path. Right, let's talk about the edge cutting and you can see it's doing exactly what they said it was going to do, is going on the concrete and getting it going. Now the other thing I want to talk about is the sound. I would say it's somewhere between 65 and 80 decibels. Definitely not as quiet as the rotary blades that use the razors, but it's still 10 times quieter than any lawnmower that you're going to be using. So if you're worried about noise, you can still run this without being stressed out. Pass number one is done. Check out these stripes, baby. Slaying that lawn. Oh yeah. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of you guys are thinking out there, oh, Ginger, your lawn's perked already. What does it do with the average lawn? Well, let's go slay a lawn. I want to challenge the Lime 01, even with it being a pre-production model, so I chose three neighboring properties. Now, property number one had several areas with potholes, and I've had two other robotic lawnmowers on this lawn, and they both got stuck in the exact same spots. One of these potholes uh, was a water main cover that is about three inches below the grade, and the Lima one had no problem, so it was pretty optimistic. But the second was a massive gopher hole, and I figured the Lima one had no chance considering this gopher hole goes a foot below the grade. But the combination of the 16 inch wide cutting deck combined with the floating deck technology, the Lima did not get stuck, and this gopher hole is just ridiculously wide and deep. Now, lawn number two had obstacles like the kids playset and the trampoline, and the limo also had no issues getting around both obstacles. I will say the trampoline avoidance is a tough one when it comes to the grass growing over the posts. Now, one special thing to note about this floating deck technology is it's capable of traversing up to two inch height differences. So it can easily get over flagstone and most trampoline posts. So lawn number two also had some crazy slopes ranging from 24 degrees on up to 40 degrees. It's a little bit difficult to show on camera the angle of the slope, but the Lima one had no problems conquering the slopes. So if you guys have a lot of technical areas of your lawn, it's not gonna be an issue. I enjoyed watching how it carefully navigated the slopes as well. You'll notice the, the mow deck comes carefully up and over the ridge, back, and then it went 45 degree angle around the perimeter of the lawn. Lawn number three is in a heavily shaded area. As you can see, it's just chock full of trees. Now I chose this area because I was confident the RTK signal to the mower would absolutely fail. Limo is equipped and marketed with what they would call precision navigation. So Limo One combines RTK with VSLAM, IMU, and wheel encoders to maintain precise positioning, even when the RTK signals are weak due to tree cover, buildings, and or bad weather. So this multi-sensor fusion ensures stable and accurate navigation in all conditions. So this is gonna come in handy for a lot of you guys. I specifically programmed the area to stay underneath the canopy of the trees. Not only did the Limo have zero issues, but it also went over the top of the tree roots without getting stuck. Now I will say in all three of these conditions, I've been super impressed and not to hammer this home, but this is the pre-production model. Let's check out these results from this dual cutting blade. Now there's been a lot of you guys out there super excited to check out a robot with an actual cutting head on it. And I'm excited to tell you that this product is cutting well, even in the pre-launch state. Now keep in mind, it is a side discharge model. So in areas where you would normally scalp cut, we do, we've got some debris, but look at this, look at this. Run my hand, it is mulching really, really well in this Kentucky bluegrass. Let's play a game, shall we? The obstacle avoidance challenge. This is where we take a dog tin, a head of cauliflower, a wine glass, 
and some bagels to see how well this machine performs. First up is the dog treat tin. No problems there. Quickly avoids it. Next up is the cauliflower test. No problems for the Limo one. Next up is the wine glass test. Oh, it sees it and it's going around. Next up, we're going too high with the bin. Oh, it's going around it. It's gonna go down to the single bagel. Oh, no problem. We've been in the scenario before where it, it passes all these tests, but let's see how far we can get this thing to go before it fails. How about a paper towel? Oh my gosh, it's easy. <laughs> uh, stick of butter? All right, here we go. Stick of butter. What? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. The hot dog test. All right, guys, we got six inches here and we got half an inch here. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, let's go this six inches. Dude, I'm blown away. All right. This is seriously about half an inch wide. Let's see where we can go with this one. This is. Oh, wiener down. So this brings into some questions into mind, right? We know that we got this thing down to half inch wide. That's pretty crazy. Uh, when we made it width wise about six inches, uh, it still read it, which means that technically, if you have a big dog like Mr. Royce, it may avoid the poop if they can get the database that dialed in. This is pretty awesome. Let's get into my favorite part of the video, which is going over the pluses and the minuses of the Lima One. Now keep in mind, it's a pre-production model. I had limited time with it, but this is what I can tell you. Number one, the design, it's one of my favorites. I really like how compact the unit is. I like how heavy it is, but also how light it ended up being on the lawn. You can tell it was designed with maintenance in mind. That front deck actually comes up all the way to a 90 degree angle so you can clean it out, which is just incredible. You can also easily change the blades. Now, the other thing that I absolutely love about it is they're designing the application with you guys in mind that like open source. So you can really geek out in the details and change your user experience to however you want it. So if you live in a rural area, you really need that speed to go up because you're really just cutting down brush you could do that but if you have a lawn that's more refined like mine and you really want to go over cut quality you can do that as well now a few things i'd like to see change in the future right i'd like to see them build in uh, changing of the angle after every single mow to avoid rutting i imagine that's already in the card so i'm not as concerned about that i'd also like to see a built-in roller for striping and via the design the way it loads onto the charger that shouldn't be a problem now the obstacle avoidance was incredible, but what I was really blown away with with the Lima One is the way that it traversed obstacles and ruts in the lawn. I've never seen a machine handle and traverse problem areas quite like the Lima One. But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you hit me up down in the comments down below, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Lima One. But until next time, guys, testing lawn, Jija. We're slaying lawn.